I'm Silvio and this is part 20 of my Christmas Village 2021 food tutorial series. I really need to start adding cobblestones on top of my Christmas Village ground and generally I print my texture on a 200 grams paper. Standard paper is 80 grams per square meter. This is 200 grams per square meter, so a very thick paper, but still suitable for inkjet and laser printers. The advantage, uh, this is a much more durable paper, so if I don't damage it, I can reuse my print uh, over and over again. And then... And then I need to add much of this, plenty of snow, an exaggerated amount of snow and dozens of trees. A Christmas village without snow and trees is like Rome without the Colosseum. It's like uh, uh, New York without Lady Liberty, Paris without the Eiffel Tower, um, Rio without the Statue of Christ Redeemer, or, or, or Sydney without the Opera House. Inconceivable. <laughs> Maybe in another universe, in a parallel dimension, but not here. But first, I need to work for some minutes, maybe hours, on a way, on an elegant way, if possible, to get light up onto the North Pole section. I don't want street lamps on the North Pole section, nor any other extravagant way to get light up there but I want to maintain an elegant way of doing it if I can, if I am able to do it. So I decided to start with a frozen white pine tree, a tall pine tree, not top quality, very standard quality, and it is also losing some of the snow. I will try to fix it in a moment. So what I did, I removed the plastic base, the standard very, very thin plastic base, and I added this base here. This is nothing more or nothing else than a PVC pipe cap used to seal a PVC pipe. And I painted it with some white and black and the brown on top of the base. Then I add a little hole, I hope you can see it, on the uh, top of the base there, uh, okay, on the cut base. And what I want to achieve, I want to add light to this tall uh, pine tree. And uh, uh, why I want <laughs> both simply uh, already made uh, pine from uh, Lee Max Lemax with all the less. Uh, I thought that the, those weren't uh, uh, enough uh, powerful LED. Okay, so I found also those 20 micro LED, micro LED here, pure white, cold white, so pure bright white, not warm light but cold light and uh, they are powered by two 1.5 AA batteries and this is uh, an adapter, uh, some sort of an adapter. Uh, let's try to, re to open it and see. Okay, let's add some AA batteries. 
one and two. Okay, yes, 20 uh, micro LED, one, two, three, I think I have 20 of them, yes, 20 of them. Okay, and they have a little effect there, okay? I didn't want some effect, but flashing effect, but anyway, I have it now and I must use it. Okay, uh, obviously I won't, I will not use the, the box here, the plastic box. So let's try to modify it uh, uh, as I want it to be. So, uh, yes, 3 volt DC, so I will use it with a 3 volt adapter. Let's remove this piece here. Okay, then I need to find a way to disassemble this one. My magnifying glasses.
No, neither this time it is finished. Final recap of part 20 of the 2021 series. I'm going to start from there. Uh, last thing I've made, and this is the result of one bag of snow. Uh, let me just take the bag of snow here. One bag of snow, this is 100 grams of snow, and this is the result there. I still miss some snow, but the, pa the packet was empty, the bag was empty, so I couldn't uh, go ahead. Yes, I could have gone further, but it is time to end this uh, part 20. So my usual technique, I use my plastic glass to uh, spread the snow, then I clean everything and everything because I don't like uh, snow on top of uh, a park bench, on top of figurines, etc. And then I create a path uh, under the snow over uh, the uh, cobblestones only for the parts of uh, ground where I have the uh, cobblestones. So very irregular path as you can see but this is how I will proceed from now on. So before proceeding, I've cleaned the mess of uh, power cables under the plywood. Let me just go there, bloop, hope I can, uh, I hope you can see, I don't think so now, yes. And I've regrouped everything, then I placed the uh, uh, the power sources, the AC adapters, and then I've connected all the cables to the AC adapters through the um, eight uh, um, eight wire eight uh, um, way split cables, my octopus cables. So I have uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten adapters, ten AC adapters. Then some other things, and then <clears throat> uh, one of them obviously is for, for the train, that one with the white uh, writing on top of it. And then uh, one uh, is for the um, mini pump there that will uh, be switched on next time. I promise you that. Uh, so no more a mess. I've grouped everything here under... And then let me just go this way. And now I go up and everything is lighted up. Okay, street lamps, uh, the lake here, the frozen lake here. Um, everything is switched on and lighted on. The effect, yes, a little effect here. Okay, in the dark, guys. Let's go in the dark. Good. We are in plain dark. Nothing else is switched on except for the, uh, the um, buildings and the street lamps, etc. I will do a quick uh, preview because it's not time for the um, for the real uh, video yet, but everything is uh, lighted on, guys. Even the big, 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 big 42 centimeters tall uh, street lamps that will light up the uh, future buildings up there, uh, everything else. Let me just... Re-switch on the lights. Yeah, there, with the band. Uh, one, two, and three. Okay, three lights. Uh, I will surely finish. I don't like here, here like that. But you have uh, seen that uh, with the snow there. Uh, I am able to hide the paper tape, no more visible the paper tape, and everything else. Um, 
What did I do? Yes, I replaced the two threes there. Those are more elegant. Those are 74251. Item 74251, the oldest one that I placed there in the corners. There are uh, 64097. But also I have one, two here, white. One behind the, the, the column, another one behind the column. And then others. So I've added around 50, 52 trees. Uh, here I added a tree there, one there. And I've managed to add a variety of trees, different type of trees. So that one was uh, already there. Then on the back, I've added uh, some more trees to complete the uh, the background there. So here I added what I did. I added I covered it all with uh, uh, rock paper. I still need to proceed with some snow. Then I added here some moss here on top of the uh, entry of the tunnel. Some more trees there. Okay. Um, and the one in the, yes, one here. And then I've added some more sand there, not filmed, obviously, because I wanted a more, more I wanted more sand in that corner. Then here, nothing, yes, another three there, etc. A couple of trees there, one here and one there on the left hand side of the jingle bells um, stand there, uh, tree there, tree there, and then, 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 more tree there, there, three of little trees there, um, and only in uh, Visible points, yes, one in the middle between uh, the uh, Slater's home and the uh, uh, station, right there. Um, I still, uh, mo much probably I will add some more uh, trees by next time and I will surely finish it by next time. Um, what else? Ah, yes, let's go up there. You have seen me doing the tree the big frozen tree, now it is lighted up and this was uh, not the perfect but the most elegant solution I found to uh, bring light on top of the um, North Pole section without having to add the street lamps and it projects lights on top of everything, I don't know if you I've shown you that but it, if not it is for next time, I added some more moss here now uh, Santa's, uh, the Santas are um, swinging, yes, so trees there, okay, still need to add the snow and then fill the wa mini waterfall and the um, Poseidon um, uh, fountain. And also what I did, let me just remove this one for a second. I've painted the stairs in grey in order to mask the white of the stairs. Let me place that there. Okay, so I painted the stairs there and even under that one. More trees, yes, another 60596 there, another uh, naked tree there. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, yes, it took me a very long time to do what I haven't filmed. So the uh, cables, the regrouping all the uh, power cords down the, under the, um, the plywood, the planks, the plywood panels. Uh, maybe I'm, st oh yes, I've uh, the most, uh, um, amount of cobblestone is here because I want the I wanted these to be as much as colored as possible so uh, it will um, result in a very good effect this one should not stay there this one should goes there 
okay yes you there uh, maybe not there then the snow without the snow it's it's not washable without the snow but with the snow and also some of the figurines base will be heightened by the snow uh, because some of them have very 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 thick bases like in this case the milk boy there then i also carved here uh, alpha centimeters in order to hide uh, the base of the guys there with the uh, snowman on top of their uh, slate and the lake is working yes then also here some more cobblestone so when i added the cobblestone the printed uh, cobblestone i surely um, uh, moved here and there the original position of each and every figurine but uh, i've uh, tried to reposition and to reposition them as uh, as uh, uh, precisely as possible towards the original uh, position then uh, then 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 <laughs> sorry guys i already have my uh, christmas songs in the ears and in the brain um sorry for not uh, being able to have some decent music but i don't want to be copyrighted and then the guys there the kids uh, playing with the rope i don't think i've added uh, so much more things so i did some more things now i think no more than four no let's say okay Let's be realistic, 10 hours of work and this will be completed. Oh yes, I also added the border here. I printed out some other wall pattern there, uh, a little um, bright, brighter than this wall here. This tends to be towards the, um, the red and blue. I don't know if I have a sample, another sample with me. Uh, no, I don't have it, but I can show you uh, closer detail because even here, there, you can see that the there, uh, the um, <coughs> the wall there. Uh, it is more similar to the uh, Greek, the ancient Greek floor I printed there. Still need to add some snow also on the Greek uh, park. And here, switch it on, yes. Uh, so, uh, some difficulties, yes. Uh, especially with the uh, buildings and not every building wa where was uh, lighted up when I connected all the power cords. It happens. I had to uh, work under the plywood and try to repair the connectors. What connectors? Uh, those one I can have them. I have a couple of them here. Uh, nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Those connectors here. Yes. This connector here. Okay, and sometimes it disconnects from the power cords. Let's try to go on focus. Okay, uh, it tends to the um, the wires, the power, the the wires, the cables tend to detach. They are simply screwed on in on this connector. And sorry for my dirty hands also, but I've just finished working on my project here. So another little tiny uh, tree there. And a big, I don't know if you can see between the uh, the columns there, the pillars there, uh, and behind the pillars, a very big, tall uh, tree. Not a pine tree, nothing else, but I wanted some green to be visible behind the pillars there. Um, then, 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 no, then nothing else, I think. And uh, yes. Everything else is as uh, oh yes I've repositioned also some of the guys here of uh, the guys of the um, the marching band guys 
uh, to have more distance between them. So uh, I have one step each, uh, um, separating each end uh, of them, okay? So the trumpets, then uh, uh, the trombone, then uh, a free step, then the trumpet, then and the drum, the big drum, then the little drum, etc., etc. Only between the little drum and the uh, the director here, uh, you have two uh, steps. Okay. Uh, see you for the outro. Bye. Good. Uh, one little bag of snow and I've already covered a decent portion of my Christmas village ground. I think I will be using between 10 to 12 of them for a total of 1.2 kilograms of artificial snow. I like this brand because it gives me four fantastic effects. A snow, obviously, ice, wet and a very good light reflection. Three days ago, I had so many difficulties trying to restock my supply because this brand here seems to have disappeared from everywhere, online or physical store. But uh, last season, it was very, very common. Let's hope for a uh, next season because I absolutely dislike all other, brand, all other brands of snow. The longest thing I did was regrouping and connecting the power cords when I was working folded in four behind under the plywood planks so not a very decent show to film on the camera guys uh, it took me six maybe ten hours to finish the work down there because it is very hard to work on the ground, on the floor. And then the, everything else, the cobblestones, the printing of the cobblestones, the trees, the placing the trees around 10 or 12 hours. So I am on the standard average of 22 to 24 hours of work each week. Maybe I'm aging, maybe I'm already too old, but uh, uh, last season it took me less time, maybe it's just an impression and it took me the same exact amount of time. Next time, I promise I put my hand on the fire, uh, that this will be completed. Maybe, no, I will not reveal anything, but you are authorized to shoot at me if this is not complete by next week. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.